what? No, no, no. No, they're co not coming yet in about an hour. Wait, they're here. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. I must have gotten my times mixed up. I thought you wouldn't be here for another hour. I guess it's not so good if a time traveler can't keep up with time. For those of you who have not met me, my name is Professor McBubbles. I am an historian and a time traveler. Today you are going to travel with me to meet the amazing woman named Mae Jemsen. As you can tell from our picture, Mae Jemsen is an astronaut. She also has many other things, which you might have heard today while you were with Mrs. McLemon, my cousin. So let's hop in our time machine and begin our journey to meet Mae Jemsen. Please buckle up. It has been a bit of a bumpy ride lately. That was a rough ride. I don't know about you, time travelers, but that wore me out. Let's see. Yes, exactly where we need to be. Mae Jemsen's story starts in 1956, which is when she was born. She was born in the state of Alabama which is very close to Mississippi, where Ruby Bridges was born. Mae Jemsen went into orbit aboard the Space Shuttle Endeavor. That was the name of the spaceship. It's right here. She became the first African-American woman in space. She's also trained as a doctor and served as a medical officer in the Peace Corps. In this picture, you can see May getting ready to go into orbit. Now, please make sure you have your guide out, and we are on the second pay page of May Jemson. So, on the top, you will write, This is May. Now, you know I always give you that first sentence to start you off. Our first sentence is going to include the year and her accomplishment in that year. So in 1992, she became the first African American in space. Go ahead and add that to your guide. If you need to, please pause this time travel so you may finish writing it down. The next image I have is our timeline. Our timeline goes in increments of 10 years. You see those parsley patriots? They are right there on their timeline at 2021. You see Ruby from our lesson yesterday and her accomplishment was in 1960. And then we have Mae Jemsen, and you'll notice that it's a little bit away from 1990. So you can see how many years after Ruby, Mae Jemsen became the first African American woman in space, which was about 30 years ago. Next, I want to show you some pictures. <laughs> 
In the top, you will see May with her fellow crewmates that also went into orbit on Space Shuttle Endeavor. In the bottom left, you will see May as she is today. The bottom right is Space Shuttle Endeavor taking off for orbit. Now, you have the top part of your guide filled in. The second part is for you to write May's character trait, just one, and the proof you have for that character trait. Yesterday, you did it with me or your teacher. Today, we want you to write that complete sentence independently. You will write May was blank. You can put her character trait there and then you can write because blank. Make sure that you are keeping your travel or your brochure nice and clean. What you may also do at the bottom of this page is fill in May to look like astronaut May Jemison. Remember I have showed you all of these pictures so you can make her image look more lifelike. Now, does May have rainbow hair? No, we probably shouldn't write May with rainbow hair. Now, also where the illustration of May is, you will add a quote. I have some quotes that I would love to share with you. The first one, I love is the best way to make your dreams come true is to wake up. We can't sleep and make our dreams come true. We have to live them. That is one great quote. May is a smart woman. I'll read that again if you choose to add that to your speech bubble. The best way to make your dreams come true is to wake up. The next quote I have from May is, don't let anyone rob you of your imagination. That means always keep your imagination, even when you're older. I myself, Professor McBubbles, still loves to use my imagination. Well, I hope you didn't get too sick on our time travel back with May Jemson. What you can do now is go back and finish the page of your guide all about May Jemson. Now remember, your teachers are expecting high quality and nice and neat work. And you always use the information you learned with my cousin Mrs. McLemon. Thank you so much and have a safe trip back to 2021.